had captured three of the four dry cultures wanted for the slaying of Mr. Brother, his good Indian friend. The fourth and final man, Roof Prentice, eluded pursuit and fled to the protection of Crump Elliott, a notorious horse and cattle thief. Wyatt, with Sheriff Bat Masterson, faced a dangerous problem. Old man Elliott's daughter, Blanche, was in love with Prentice. For the first time in the long chase after the dry gulch gang, a woman threatened to make matters complicated and deadly. We know him, Andy. Who shot you, Ruth? Oh, talk later. Lend him a hand. Yeah. I'll call Pop and the boys. Papa isn't going to like this, you coming here. He's got enough trouble on his hands. You going to run me off, honey? Uh, I've tried that several times, but you always come back. Bleeding from a gunfighter with John Laws after you. No good bushwhacker. I should hate you. That's right. You should. Just how do you feel about me, Blanche? You and Papa don't deserve feelings. But I guess I don't want to see either of you hanged. <laughs> That's something. Yes, isn't it? My life is rich with loving and being loved. Shut up. Let me handle Papa. And he didn't have to tell me. The three bells from the porch and blood on the ground. You're a fool if you think you can hide here again. We don't want you. Now, Mr. Elliot... I... Shut up. He has a bone smashed in his leg and the law's after him. Where is he going to run to? Not here. I told him the last time. All right, you told him. I'll drive you to the nearest doctor. And have a posse following you? Oh, no. Push off by yourself, Gulcher. You can ride and you know the trails. All right. You say so. I'm going with him. I said no. You don't say that to me. We'll go out and hitch up a rig. The boys won't shoot at me. Pulling a gun on your own father. Choosing between me and a low-down, dry gulch and hoodlum. Well, I reckon this is the end of it all. Yes, dear, noble Papa. Blanche, you're tearing my heart out. I'll bury it with Mama's and mine. Go on, Ruth. No, you win, he can stay. But not in my ranch house. Please, baby, we can't stand no ringing out from the law just now. Cattlemen's Association's been complaining about rustling around here. What an injustice. That's enough. Ruth will stay in the bunkhouse. Sure, baby. That's fine. That's just fine. Uh, look at that blood. Prentice got winged. He's bleeding pretty bad. Reckon he made it to Crump Elliott's? That hoodlum could make it all the way to Elliott's ranch with a pint of blood. Come on, let's find ourselves a cave. Cave? Are we gonna ride in there and take Prentice? Mr. Masterson, I've almost got you killed a couple of times. From here on in, we play it safe. Oh, sure. Well, as safe as we can. I want to take Prentice alive. That means we got to thin out all the par 60 riders. Try to get enough evidence to arrest Elliot for horse thieving. I thought we came after Prentice. He'll keep a couple of hours. Anyway, you're forgetting Miss Blanche Elliot. Captain Langley told us she was sweet on Prentice, remember? She might be able to help. Looks like a good camp over there. Come on, we'll get to work. Whoa. 
What's all the rush about getting to the doctor? You know I can't take bone splinters out. They'll start a mortification by tonight. Before then, we'll be fighting off Parsi from Dodge. You have only two trails to watch. If you take my advice, you'll let loose those horses in the corral. Then you won't have any evidence on hand. Posse won't be after me. Suit yourself. I'll be back before sundown. Time up. Put him on his horse. Two more riders in the gully. Lift. Die and gag him. Put him back with that other man. Run it! Don't try that. Give me that. Who are you? My name's Zerp, Miss Elliot. I'm a marshal of Dodge City and a deputy United States marshal. Any other questions? No. Then it's my turn. I'm looking for a Mr. Roof Prentice. Charge of murder. I don't know him and I haven't seen him. No? Well, Captain Langley of the Texas Rangers tells me that you're engaged to Roof. We followed a blood trail to your ranch boundary. Well, I haven't seen him. Why don't you ride on into the ranch and ask my father? I have an errand in town. You need a doctor? For what? I'm healthy. Yeah, I can see that. But I want you to keep Prentice alive. Here. You might need that. Mighty lonesome country. Thoughtful of you, Marshal. Ain't anybody watching the east boundary, Mr. Elliott? Well, sure. Spencer and Draves and Morgan are out there. Well, I couldn't find them. What? That lazy scum. They're probably laying in the shade somewhere. Go fetch Andy. We'll ride out the horse corral. Yes, sir. All right, get off. Let's go. Come on. Come on, move. You leave the gags on, tie off their legs. I'll hide the horses. Wait a minute. I think this one will talk. Well, no? come here. All right, now what do you want to say? Well, Mr. Elliott told me this was a cattle outfit, but I found out different. He's stealing horses. How do you know he steals horses? Well, I know where the corral is that he keeps them in. He runs off young colts before they're branded and then puts his own bar 60 brand on them. Where's the corral? What happens to me, Marshal? You point out the corral and you can take off. That's fair enough. You go tie them up, then we'll ride. Right. Come here. Where's the guard on this pen? Here I am, boss. Oh, Dunphy, you seen anything of Spencer or Draves or Morgan? No, sir. They're right in line, ain't they? Well, Pete couldn't find them. Something queer going on here. I think we better cut out the branded stock and turn them loose. We're the hundred and a quarter apiece. Blanche said turn them all loose. I don't go for that, but she's usually right. We'll cut out the branded stock. <laughs> There's the horses I was telling you about, Marshal. 
And there's Mr. Elliot and three of the boys. All right, you get out of here real fast. I sure will. Coming on some of the horses. Yeah. Let's get down there. Get down there. Hey! Drop him, Dunphy! Pete, Andy, get him! Go ahead and reach. Don't reach, Elliot. I ain't soft hearted like Marshal Earp. You're a horse thief, Mr. Elliot. You got no proof these horses ain't mine. Don't waste my time acting stupid. Now, where you hiding, Prentice? You find him. Don't worry. Now, you get down off that fence. Keep your hand away from that gun. We'll take him over the cage. Start walking. Where your horses? Over there. Go get him. Oh. oh, what are you doing? Well, ma'am, I'm glad the doctor was in. What's the trouble, Marshal? Miss Blanche wants you to look after a man that's wanted for murder. Well, now, that's all right with me, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask the lady to come with me for a few minutes. Her father wants to see her. You're lying. You did considerable truth-stretching yourself. Now, you go along with the Marshal or I go back. No. I'll do what he says. Doc, you go on into the ranch. She'll meet you there later. Elliot, we arrested your father for stealing horses. You know what that means in this part of the country? Get to the point. Well, I thought that maybe you might like to trade Mr. Prentice for your dad. I won't make a choice like that. Yes, you will. Mr. Masterson and I will give you half an hour to make up your mind. And what if you don't hear from me? Well, in that case, I'll have to go into the bar 60 and take Mr. Prentice, and your father will have to stand trial. You think it over, Miss Elliot. <laughs> Marshal's holding Papa for horse stealing, and he's got some of the boys, too. Herb wants to make a deal? Yes. You in exchange for Papa. What did you say? What could I say? Nothing. But I've got to send him an answer right away. If I don't, he's going to come in here after you. Let him come. I can give you a 15-minute head start. No, it's no use, honey. Why? I've been running from Herp too long. He's probably got my three pals already. Anyway, I'm tired of it. And I'm not going to spend the rest of my life running from him. Let him come and get me, if he can. Well, it'll be just the two of us. The rest of the gang has disappeared. Well, that's all right, too. Blanche, you can set him up for me. I can hide in that upstairs bedroom. You lead him out that front door. It's too quiet. Either Prentice has run or it's a trap. The Prentice didn't run. If he had, she'd have sent word to try and stall us so he could get away. How many guns could she call on, you reckon? About two, I'd guess. Hers and Prentice's. Your papa had more men than we took. Yeah, no. I think they let out. Well, we'll soon know. No, I'll know. You're covering me. From where? As close as you can get. The reason I'm going in first, Mr. Masterson, is because you're too young to be trusted with, Miss Blanche. Well, you watch out for yourself. That gal's a killer. I can't believe she is, really. If I'm wrong... Well, it's for Mr. Brother and Mr. Cousin. Come on, let's get at it.
Waste of time. He's been gone almost an hour. He has, huh? What you scared of? You. Let me have the pistol. I haven't one. Oh? No. Is that your word of honor? Yes. Miss Elliott, I hear you carry a 41 caliber Derringer in the pocket of your skirt. Now that's absurd. If you don't give it to me, I'm gonna have to take it. If you touch me, I'll... <laughs> now you also have a 45 Colt, where is it? Look for it. That's the one I intend to shoot you with. Oh. Well, I haven't got time to look for it. If you shoot me, you shoot me. Now, let's go look for Mr. Prentice. I'll walk first and you follow me. Prentice would shoot you just to get at me. Suit yourself. Stay there. Prentice, come on out of there. Why don't you go on in after him? He left, I told you. Word of honor again? I don't suppose you'd listen to a deal. I'm listening. Ruth Prentice is nothing to me anymore. I just don't want him killed. Does that seem so strange to you? No. I guess all I want now is no killing. To get away from here. First you hide out a gun to shoot me. Now you want us to be real friendly, hmm? Is the gun in here? No, but we'll find it. Where's Prentice? Keep looking, Marshal. I will. Smell of carbolic. And the doctor's work, so Ruth hasn't been in here. Bright of you. Don't move. I told you we'd find the gun. All right, go ahead. No. I don't like killing. Ruth will take care of that. This time, you go first. Back to the house. No. You do the shooting. 
All right. Why shouldn't I? Ruth's got enough blood on his hands. Ruth, I've got him. He's in the vine, Ruth. Curtis. Oh. Oh, Ruth. I tried. Why? She could have killed you. No. Lady doesn't believe in killing. Well, she made her choice. She saved one of them. I'll turn her father loose. Now we gotta tow Prentice all the way back to Dodge. I could have saved us the trouble, but you wanted him alive. That's right. Alive. I wanted all the dry gulches alive. I'm real sorry, Miss Blanche. If you do want to leave this place, we'll help you find a job somewhere. No, thank you. I'd hate it any place. Promise, let us watch men hang. It's my fault, young wolf. He was not there himself. I could see he did not want us there either. Would look like vengeance. What is wrong with vengeance? Marshal Herb says the law punished them for the murder of Mr. Brother. That's enough. Come. He is waiting. And no more argue about vengeance. Marshal Herb. Is deacon in white men's church. What is deacon? Uh, some sort of honest and respected Christian. Hmm? country he made law and order prevail and none can deny it the legend of Wyatt forever will live on the trail oh. 